he's able to get any of that going on this first game, starting off likely on Smashville. Yeah, it'll definitely to, be a trial if that Water Shuriken yeah. game comes into play for Conga to get in. So we'll see what they choose. I just realized he has the DK tie on. Oh, Conga's yeah. the man. Conga's always dressed up. <laughs> he's got his DK crew here with him. He's ready to show the world what he's made All of. All right. Top 64 singles of Low Tier City 5 starts now. Conga up against Illusion on Smashville. Okay, Illusion getting stuff started, catches him, dashing away with that. Dash attack sets up for a fair, gets decent damage. All right, already applying good pressure, and we see this Water Shuriken gang starting up, and the spacing. He's keeping a Konga locked on his platform with that disjointed up smash. Oh, oh, goes down with the forward smash, has Konga off the ledge now, doesn't let up the pressure, and Konga is not getting back for free. Wow, Illusion has just been relentless, you know. I said we might see a little bit of defensive play, but no, Illusion is very aggressive with these tools. He might be spacing you out, but he's getting up close and personal with that. Yeah, but all Konga needs is one grab, and that's exactly what Illusion realizes, and that's why he's playing this sort of play style. I love the innovation there from the down special from Konga. Rock him to percent and get him into those windows where that Ding Dong's going to be killing. Yeah, Kongo taking inspiration from uh, the 100-man melee pack, <laughs> how everyone used to unlock Falco back in the day. Uh, you got to use some of those next level strats. Some of those strats you haven't heard of, and sometimes you just got to go out nice. and call them out, reading that jump there with the up air. Luz is going to get that first up with a very dominant first stop play. Yeah, using that Smashville platform as a springboard to get high enough to land that up air near the blast zone. Konga having a rough time, and now Illusion is looking to lap him in percent. Oh, man, just so much damage being wrecked on the Konga right now. He's been caught on this platform more often than that or off the stage. Illusion has been catching every recovery option for Konga here. Wow. Okay. Getting something started. Just getting a little bit of extra damage so that the next throw will seal it. Doesn't want to go for any uh, conversions off of the All cargo right. up throw. Lands it. Here comes the up air. Yeah. Lands the stock. We don't see a shadow sneak come up from Illusion. Yeah. Normally, I don't think you can escape that kind of a setup. Oh. Runs right through the neutral special there. 6% only on Illusion here. Konga has been having a difficult time of getting in on this frog, the slippery little amphibian. And it doesn't seem to be changing right now. Illusion still applying a lot of pressure in the air and on the platform. First grab and the second stock with not much netted from it. All right. No, at 0%, uh, you can always mash out of a cargo throw before DK gets anything going. So just going for a little bit of damage and getting positioning ready for the next cargo throw is all that's important. All right, now. Important setup right there, the up tilt to the up air. Illusion still holding on to the stage. Now, probably going to go for a fourth though. Yeah, just to get the stage, just throws up some shuriken and rack up a bit more damage. That up air, or up throw actually, will be killing at about 20 more percent here. Okay, up throw nearly going to kill Raw. Uh, not quite without any rage. Going to go for a forward throw to keep that up throw fresh. Get some extra damage. And real soon, oh goodness, Lots of he might be taking for a ride. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage already, 40%. All he needs is a couple more, 50. 10 more percent, and Illusion will be in that range where the Ding Dong will be killing now. However, Maybe less with Konga all this range. is in the up throw percent range, rolls right into it. Oh, and he and dies off the, the top. Stock. Doesn't last, but you might have been able to hear the crowd getting wild towards the end. Even though the percent was so heavily in Illusion's favor, that could easily have been turned away with one grab. Oh, definitely. Just one grab away Kongo was from taking that set for our game in his favor. Illusion able to clutch it out there. Kongo just kind of running into Greninja's loving arms there and letting him get that up there, or up throw. Right. Uh, going to be going into the second game now. Kongo's counterfeit. All right, now going right back to Smashville, Kongo thing, and this wasn't a me problem. Or th this wasn't a stage problem, this was a me problem, and I gotta fix it. Yeah. Get a few more of those uh, important hits. They can allow Illusion to exude that much control. Like, Illusion had so much control that first game, keeping Kongo off the stage or in the air more often than not. Right, he started off really aggressive with his spacing, and uh, right now, I think Kongo is wanting to uh, stifle that a bit by, oh, ooh, like that. And Don't come down with the fair. He's got super armor. Yeah, that was big old monkey or gorilla arms. Now looking to get that grab and throw him into the skies. A little bit of uh, percent getting racked onto him now. The rage he'll take. That uh, stuff will be flying off of Illusion that much sooner. Okay, and this is it. Gets the ding dong, seals the stock, and now Konga's looking so much better than that last game. Complete reverse of that first game. We have this exact situation with Illusion taking the first stock. Now Konga answering right back with Illusion. Uh, recovering on stage uh, sets up for some big damage for Illusion. Ooh, the get-up attack, though, finds his way back on. 
Yeah, just looking for these moments to get that triple out of the down tilt or just get that grab Two? and rack them some percent. Yeah, those get up attacks are doing so much for Conger right now. All right, drop down from Illusion, looking for something there. Gets no. the stage spike in that first stock off of Conga. All right, no tech means he's going down to the depths. Illusion starting to get something started for himself. Yeah, still wrecking a lot of percent. The grab gets in. Another back air, 51% now. is a few more hits here from Conga, and he's looking at that cargo throw. One down tilt could probably set up into the grab that would seal it all for Illusion. He's got to be very careful. Yeah, Maybe obviously. even a, just a couple of pummels would be enough at this point. Uh, honestly, one grab, one, two pummel, and just throw them right up there. But Illusion, not out of this just yet. I'm racking up all of this percentile right now and not allowing Okanga to get in and land that grab. Okay, Kanga at this point likely not going to commit to any uh, offensive moves right now because he just wants that grab to be the only presence. And there it is, and here comes the up air, but right out of the percentile, too much rage on Kanga. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Now he's got to find another way to do it, get some big damage. Tries again, but there, Mavis needed to wait for an air dodge from Illusion, going full committal. Illusion's right out of that spacing where that up air will be connecting. Another grab, just goes to the back though, gets him off the stage. Okay, now we're reaching percents where uh, jab one into the perfect pivot up tilt might do it. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't able to get off enough, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't quite walk far enough to, to get the turnaround and uh, throw him into the stage. Back air, certainly going to be enough. Yeah, catches that neutral get up there with the back air and is able to close up that second game. Now, Kanga going on to a third, and Illusion, I don't believe he's going to stay on that stage. Now, Kanga's showing he's more than just a ding-dong Donkey Kong. <laughs> got some other tricks up his sleeves, got some uh, different types of bananas in that field, but we're going to see where this next game leads. It's going to lead us to Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Interesting, because normally um, when our local, local player Gibbous, when I watch him, he thinks that uh, Battlefield is one of the worst stages for Greenwich, and I'm inclined to believe him. Um, but he must have some idea for going here. Likely to just platform camp and avoid that grab, even though he loses a lot of his own combo game as Greenwich on this stage. That's fine, because you can pressure the platforms rather well against a character like DK. Yeah, and I could definitely see him utilizing that up smash, especially when he caught on the platforms. But it's also going to give a lot to Kongo. If he gets on these platforms, that up, uh, the cargo up throw to up air is going to be killing a lot sooner. Oh, yeah. No. Kongo seems to be the one who's platform camping rather than Illusion, trying to find his way down. Um, yeah. But if we see Illusion gaining a big lead, I can't imagine... Or I can definitely imagine a world where he is just hopping from platform to platform to avoid uh, the loving arms of DK. Yeah, playing so much more patient is Kanga. Illusion still applying all of this aggression, however. He's finding these opportunities to combo Kanga around these platforms, and that's exactly why he switched the battlefield. Okay, nice getting the punish on uh, the up special there. Now it's getting a lot of up airs. Has Kanga off the stage. Kanga waiting to choose his recovery option, but Illusion just runs in after the jump, catches him with that up smash, and still throwing him around these platforms. Okay, that was an air dodge read right there, going for it. The run off shadow sneak usually covers the air dodge out of the down throw when you can't position the fair properly. Uh, Kanga, though, privy to it, ends up covering, going high. Oh, but now. Yikes, it's even Illusion's on time to go high. The up air sitting right into that blast hole. Lots of rage on Kanga as well. So Illusion is unable to glitch out this stock. He is, however, the down throw to forward air takes out that first stock of Kanga's. Actually caught Kanga jumping away at that point. Definitely a, uh, a mix up. And Kanga was not willing to go for the immediate air dodge. He saw what Illusion was willing to do had he done it. <laughs> and sometimes you just got to put some fear into your opponent there. Illusion on the winning end now. Looking to uh, rack up some damage onto Kanga. Kanga, however, has a nice little percent on Illusion. A couple more hits, and he'll be in that ding dong percentile. All right. All right. Spacing away that back air and the forward air from Illusion. Just trying to keep Kanga out of the reach. But he comes oh onto the platform, God. gets him so quick, and ends it with the up air there. What a grab! Scooped him out from below. Man, this man loves ice cream, banana flavored, of course. Scoops him right up on that side right platform and just sends him right into the upper His blast arms zone. Are just giant ice cream <laughs> he just scoops. Has, he just like, you know what? I don't need the scoop. I don't need a cone. Let me just grab it with my Shove. arms. <laughs> You see this monkey, this gorilla walking down the street with all this ice cream. Mm. Everyone giving him looks. He's like, I have my ice cream. It doesn't it's matter. Mine. It's mine. Are you going to give him a funny look? He is Donkey Kong. <laughs> I would not risk it. He just back throws you. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the